Hello, this is Danny. Welcome to a whole nother awesome review. Today, I'll be reviewing a Blu-ray called Dear Mr. Gacy. I just watched this film, and I think it's actually, probably, actually, you know what this is? This is, I would say this is the best movie ever about a serial killer. I mean, I watched them all. I mean, I watched uh, The Green River Killer, you know, I've watched so many I can't even count. I watched, you know, the Ted Bundy one on uh, Netflix. You know, and that one was horrible. I hate that movie. Um, I watched the Jeffrey Dahmer movie on Netflix. Not good. Um, but I, I did watch one about the Green River Killer, and it was pretty good, too. But I just watched Dear Mr. Casey. And I have to say, this is the best movie. Uh, well, best true story about a serial killer. I have ever watched Dear Mr. Gacy. It is so terrifying, so creepy, and such a good movie. And by the way, the Blu-ray looks fantastic. Really good uh, sound on this. Really good picture. Highly recommend it. Picking this up. This is the chilling story of John Wayne Gacy. This is uh, based on the book called The Last Victim. Uh, by Jason Moss. Now, if you haven't heard of Jason Moss, well, he killed himself um, 2000, uh, in the year 2006 on uh, June 6, 2006. And he killed himself by um, a self-inflicted gunshot wound. He uh, murdered himself. Uh, apparently, um, the, all this, uh, you know, stuff that happened with Gacy really got to him. That's actually why he killed himself in the end. And, you know, um, Gacy was put to death, uh, you know, uh, in 1994, right? Uh, May 10th, 1994. He killed 33 people, John Wayne Gacy. That is crazy. This movie is just so good. I mean, I've seen a lot of, you know, movies about serial killers. But, man, wow. This is an amazing film. He killed 33 young men and, and, and sentenced to death row. You know, and here's a criminology you know, student, Jason Moss, trying to study about serial killers and get into the mind of a serial killer. And here he is being taken advantage of by John Wayne Gacy. It's just, it's absolutely fascinating. And the guy who plays Jason Moss in this movie is called Jesse Moss. Even though he has no relation to Jason Moss. Yeah. So there you go. But yeah, this, this film is, is just fantastic. I mean, I love the way how, how they film the scenes. I, I, I like, like the, they have this creepy kind of like, you don't know what the heck's going on, you know. And William Forsythe uh, plays uh, John Wayne Gacy in this movie. He was in The Devil's Rejects, uh, Rob Zombie's Halloween remake. Fantastic actor. He makes the perfect John Wayne Gacy. I watched another movie about John Wayne Gacy that was on Netflix, and it was horrible. I didn't even watch the whole movie. I, I stopped it. I couldn't watch it. It was so terrible. This movie makes up for that. This is this is the, the best movie about a serial killer you could ever watch. Dear Mr. Gacy. It's so creepy. It, it'll spook you out. Seriously. It will creep you out. I mean, like, at the end of this movie, uh, after John, Way John Wayne Gacy has been put to death, Jason Moss, you know, Moss gets this letter in the mail from John Wayne Gacy and he opens it up and John Wayne Gacy basically says in the letter he says you're right Jason you tricked me you tricked me really good you know but you and I we're a lot alike I'm like that's just creepy I mean if I got a letter from someone that was put to death on death row you know after they're dead you know, and I open up the letter, I would be freaked out. I would be like, oh my goodness. Like, I, I, I mean, a lot of people, like, say Jason was, like, uh, 
pretty much insane for like writing, you know, Gacy, you know, and it really took up his life doing this stuff, you know, and just, you know, going, just, you know, just this, uh, he wasn't just writing to John Wayne Gacy, he was also writing to Charles Manson, you know, and a whole, you know, slew of uh, serial killers, you know, the list goes on and on. But John Wayne Gacy was the one person that he got the closest to, you know. And he made up this whole bunch of fake stories and stuff. And this played into uh, John Wayne Gacy's, John Wayne Gacy's fantasies, if you know what I mean. And he just gets into his head. And it's so creepy, this movie. Seriously. And, like, John Wayne Gacy, like, gets his phone number, and he's like, how did you get my phone number? It wasn't in the phone book, you know, with Jason Moss, right, in the movie? And, oh, man, such a good movie. And it was filmed in Vancouver, actually. Um, and, uh, yeah, th that's just creepy. And he, he keeps calling him, and he's like, he's like, Jason, you haven't returned my calls. You know I know people, right? And, like, Jason's just freaking out. Like, I would be freaking out, too. If, like, John Wayne Gacy got my phone number, you know, that'd be freaking crazy, you know. Like, serial killers, like, I mean, uh, Jason Moss obviously, you know, live uh, life on the edge, if you know what I mean, writing to this serial killer, John Wayne Gacy. And I've watched a lot of movies about serial killers. Like, I watched that Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer. And I, I wasn't a fan of that movie, actually. I really like this movie a lot better. Um, because, uh, you know, Henry was, you know, I mean, you know, it tried to, like, you know, do that story about uh, Henry, the serial killer, right? But uh, it just didn't work for me. This movie was m much more in depth. I like depth, you know. Uh, like, I like how it, like, gets into, like, John Wick. John Wayne Gacy's mind, basically. And you even got a, you know, a special, like, interview after you watch the movie that you can watch with his childhood friend talking about John Wayne Gacy and the investigator that was investigating these murders. Like, there's a, there's a documentary on here, The Gacy Files. That's really interesting. And it comes with this on the uh, Blu-ray back here. And it, it's just a fantastic, you know, movie. You got sound, Dolby, True, HD 5.1. And uh, the movie's uh, 100, 103 minutes long. And you got 1080p. So, yeah. And the picture is really good on it. I really liked it. Uh, I highly recommend this film. If it was rate, to rate the Blu-ray itself out of 10, I would give it a 10 out of 10. And if it was to rate the movie... I would give it a 10 out of 10. And I would rate this movie as one of the most creepy films I ever watched in my whole entire life. It, it, I mean, at the end of the movie, like, my eyes were like, whoa, this is some creepy stuff. Like, just, you know, like, um, I watched interviews uh, of John Wingacy on YouTube. And I was just, you know... Seeing how, uh, you know, John Gacy talks, you know, uh, and, and they act out the interviews in this movie perfectly. Like, it's, it's crazy. Like, the, the, um, uh, William Forsythe, uh, just, uh, does it perfectly, basically. I mean, he becomes John Wayne Gacy in this movie, and he delivers his lines perfectly, like, every, like, interview that they took, like, they did exactly right. Like, they didn't, like, you know, a lot, a lot of times when they make uh, films about serial killers, they change lines and stuff, you know. And they, they make up a whole bunch of crap that didn't really happen. But everything in this movie is just, you know, based on what really happened with Jason uh, Moss, basically, you know. It's based on the book... Uh, the last victim, and it's a true story, and 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 the interviews in this are, are done 100% correctly because I've compared them myself, because um, I watched them because I was interested in if they were going to do this right, and it's a fantastic film, and I highly suggest it. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this review, and uh, have an awesome night.